Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. So, just like the title of this video probably says, I got an awesome, awesome new Bing Bang pickup from the pawn shop. You guys that watch the show would have seen me just recently pick up what I called my dream rifle, 257 Weatherby Mag. Well, while I was in there, I look, you know, it's a typical thing. I'll put up some pictures here. They got a wall of, you know, muzzle loaders, and then above that they got some shotguns, and then they got some bolt actions, and then they got some other random stuff. You know how it goes. Uh, they got a lot of stuff at this place. Tolliver's in Alma Square in Manchester, Tennessee. That's my spot to go. Shout out to Tolliver's. But they've got, you know, glass cases with the pistolas, like you might imagine. Well, they have this one that's kind of like a tower, right? Of the handheld bing bangs, right? And they had this one in there. They've had it in there for a while. I look at it every time I go in there. And every time I say, today's not the day. Today's not the day. Well, today was the day. I'm checking out with that, that Weatherby that I got. Which, by the way, is the new Weatherby. Model 307 Range XP and 257 Weatherby Mag. Stay tuned. Got a bunch of videos coming with that thing. That's going to be awesome. But I said, you know what? Today is the day. Put that thing on the tab. We're going home with that baby right there that I've been looking at for months. And they said, are you sure? And I said, I'm sure. So what did I pick up? Well, here we go. Uh -huh. Are you sure you're ready? Uh, uh, What's that, the mer Little Mermaid song? Uh, We're not singing too much of it. They'll give me a copyright strike on here. So I'll give you a hint. It fits in this box. It's kind of rare. I've never seen one in my life except for this. Um, should I turn it around? Ooh, HK! It's got an HK sticker on the box. Does that mean it's an HK that's in the box, though? It actually is. Now, before you have a heart attack and say, oh, man, you've joined the Yuppie Club, that thing's crazy expensive. Well, this one's kind of a weird one, and it wasn't actually that expensive. Some of y'all might have known from the uh, shape in the thumbnail already. But, so, first of all, I got three mags with it. I'll show you the mags first. You probably will have no idea about the mags, but I got three mags with it. Believe it or not, these are 18 rounders. Pretty cool. Got three mags with it. Pretty neat. Uh, but let me just go ahead and show you this thing. There's nothing in there. Boom. Anybody know what that is? Looks like some kind of space age thing. Uh... This is the very first polymer framed handgun ever made. Can you believe that? And no, it's not a Glock. This is the very first handgun ever made. It's an H&K. These first came out in 1970. There's some pretty cool things about this that I'm fixing to tell you. I made some notes so I wouldn't forget. But this is what I got. Had my eye on it, maybe even uh, a year at this point, but it says it right there on the grip HK VP70Z. Now you can see right there, it is a metal. Uh, see, I get excited and I just forget my words. It's polymer frame. What do you call this part? The slide. It does have metal slide. Uh, give you a close look at the sights there. Uh, that's somebody put yellow fingernail polish on it. Uh, this is supposed to be silver. And then the, the rear sight there. Pretty, uh, pretty different there, huh? But, like I said, HK VP70Z. A couple things to note about it. The 70 comes from, like I said, 1970 is when it was first introduced. These magazines hold 18 rounds. At least what's the, what the internet says. I haven't tested it yet. We're going to try here in a second. What else do we need to know? 
So the Z model is the civilian model. The M model, believe it or not, is very similar to this, but it has three round burst. Three round burst in a nine millimeter. I don't think I said that yet. This is a nine millimeter. So if you see an M, it uh, came with the three round burst. What else do we need to know? Looking at my notes here. We talked about nine millimeter, the military model with the burst. Came out in 1970 and is the first polymer frame pistola ever. But these are double action only. It does have a safety button right there. Where nowadays all the polymer stuff has the mag release right there. This has the safety there, almost like a, a lever action or something. The mag release is this right here. See that? And that sucker's in there tight too. You gotta, you gotta give it some muscle slide it up in there. And uh, let me just show you some real up close of it. So there's some of the markings. HK, what does that say? INC, ARL, VA. No idea what any of that means. What does it say on uh, on this side? H and K. Uh, made in Germany. Yeah. I've got no idea what Oberndorfen means. Some of y'all probably do. But the, the craziest thing about this, this has the absolute heaviest trigger pull ever. Like, I had my wife, I said, just try to pull that trigger. Got the safety on. Of course you can't do it. But just to kind of give you a... And that's where it breaks. And it's double action only all the time. Let me see if I can find on the interwebs how heavy that trigger pull actually is. And it does have a fixed barrel, so it's not tilting. Let me see if I can find how heavy this trigger pull is. All right, so I cannot find the trigger pull weight anywhere online. Just a bunch of people saying the same thing I'm saying, that it has a ridiculous trigger pull weight. But in 1970, this was way ahead of its time. Like I said, 18 rounds in this baby. And I'm gonna show you that here in a second. But this, just to give you a comparison, this is my Glock 31 that I carry quite often. And this baby holds 15 in the mag. Here's an 18 round mag from 1970. It's actually smaller. Close in size, but that's a 15 round Glock mag that's a little bit bigger and holds less. So everybody that loves Glock, let me uh, make sure this baby is back to hot status because I'm going to be probably carrying that this evening. Uh, let's try it and see if we can get 18 rounds in this baby. Remington bucket of boo lots. Yeah, that is a 9mm. See if we can get 18 in here. I have not tried this. I think we got 18, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I'm doing it this way because I will forget how many as I'm in the middle of loading. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So, let's take me a little 18. You can see how uh, that double stack in there. Remember, guys, this is again 1970. 2, 3, 4, and it kind of loads like an AR. You just push them down the top. So, you already forgot it in the middle of my count. That's why I counted them out first. Seems to load pretty easily. Yep. The stiffness is pretty much the same the whole way throughout so far. I'm not having to apply any more pressure than this at the beginning, really. I'm giving it, we got three more. Now that's getting tough. And I got one left. 18. Yeah. 18 rounds in that. So you can be going 18 plus one with 1970s technology with this HK VP70. Z. Now, everybody, comment down below if you have seen one of these babies before. I have never seen one. I contacted one of my friends a while back when I first saw this in the shop, and he said, dude, you need to get it. I said, really? He said, yeah, I got one in the original box. He said, that's like a collector's item. You don't see them every day. You need to get it. And if you look at this up close, 
it really doesn't even have any scratches on the slide, you know, on the polymer. It's all in very good shape. Uh, now, before you get all crazy and say, man, must be nice, I actually took in two bing bangs um, and did some trading and got rid of some stuff that I really liked to pay for this. Now, they didn't, you know, they always do good deals down there at Tolliver's. Uh, best place to, to find literally anything down there, and they, they don't try to uh, take your firstborn child for stuff down there either. So, I did get a good deal on this, but uh, I did trade something for it. But hey, appreciate you guys watching. In the comments down below, let me know, have you ever seen one of these? Or even better yet, have you ever fired it? And also, let me know if I should try to take this yellow off. I think I need to. I'll just be real careful and try to take that yellow off. But hey, appreciate y'all watching. Thanks for coming along and checking out this latest pawn shop find. Appreciate y'all. We'll see y'all on the next one. I'm going to have this baby at the range ASAP. Appreciate y'all. We'll see y'all on the next one. Hoo-dee-hoo!